Rob, The Athletic, which does a great job covering sports, theathletic.com, they, like everybody, is doing their top 75 players in NBA history, Rob, because, of course, it is the 75th year anniversary of the NBA. And I, and I got to be honest, sign, I Rob. I got to sign my waiver. We both did interviews for that, Chris. I was ripping people in that. I well, I'll, no, I'll no. It. We did it for ESPN. Right. I'm just Unless saying. Unless you yeah. did it a different. No, oh, yeah, no. I think ESPN. we both did it for ESPN that's yeah. coming out in May, that one. Right. And that's a documentary. Yeah, right. that's a documentary. But And I got to be honest, like, there's a part of me, I get it, but I really only put stock, even if The Athletic or ESPN or whoever, Rob, comes up with a better list, what I think is a better, more accurate list than the NBA's official one, I really only pay attention to the NBA's because they're the official, you know, storyteller of the NBA. And their top 75 is the official one. You know what I'm saying? And no. Again, some might be better list. But when we talk about he's a top 75 player, he's a top 50 player, it's that a list that you got to point to officially. You agree with that? I, I get what you're saying. And um, for the most part, that's usually uh, how people will look at it. Because other people, anybody could put out a list. And I know right. the Athletic is a credible uh, news organization. I'm not trying to discount it or anything. But we've seen some of these other lists, Chris, even ESPN on some of these things. And you just go like, uh, I, I don't know. But, 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 and my thing is, even if they're great, Rob G, I, I think in Dwight Howard in this top 75 for the athletic, I think he's in the 60s or something. And, and I think he should have been on the list with the NBA's list. Yeah. But when I, I'm not going to start referring to Dwight Howard as a top 75 No, player. he's not. Like, there has to be an official. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. There has to be I, an no, official I, list. I, I, I agree with that because it's not the official NBA list. And when we went, Chris, which is crazy to me because we were in Cleveland 25 years ago for the top It is. 15. Isn't it amazing? It is amazing to me. I remember going. I remember, Chris, I had a po Remember they gave out a poster of all the players on it. I had it yep. in my basement yep. in a frame. Nice uh, when I lived in Detroit. And and now here we are going back to Cleveland 25 years later. I wonder if they How thought about that. How was that 25 that? years I, I ago? It's not like it's L.A. <laughs> or New York or, you know, some something like that. It's Cleveland. Um, and I remember, Rob, I was, that, was my, that was my second year covering the NBA. And I was at the game. It was my You know, and that's seconds. back when we got no. to sit. <laughs> that's back when we got to sit on the floor, right? So you right. got great seats. Behind me during the game was Dr. J and Moses Malone wow. and Wilt Chamberlain. Behind me. And Doc and Moses were talking about, man, look, they were laughing about, yo, they play music during the games now. Like when you're out, you know, you're coming up court. Which of course they do now, Rob. You know they didn't always do that. So um, no, yeah, that David was Stern was phenomenal. instrumental in that. The late David Stern, Chris, because when I was covering the NBA, that music in? no, no, uh, bringing the writers back down to courtside. Oh, Stern, I didn't know it was Stern, that, that. Yeah, that was, was Stern. Oh, because when I started covering the league, they were courtside. No, I when thought I, that was when, always no. The case. We were always up top, and Ooh. Stern was the one who thought. If you bring the writers down, they can hear what players are saying. They can tell better stories about wow. what's happening on Good the court. No, I give him credit. I, I thought Stern was a great commissioner. You know, I thought he was a great there's a couple of missteps, but I got you. He yeah, did, but he overall, did, yeah. Yeah. He, 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 he did grew do the that. league like crazy. Yeah. yeah, he did do that. Okay, um, but anyway, Rob, so the Athletic has its list. And like most, I mean, let's just keep it real. They got LeBron second. And they're going to have Jordan first. Okay, they had Kareem third, Bill Russell fourth, which with all due respect to the great Bill Russell is high for my life. I wouldn't have him fourth. But he's fourth, Magic's fifth. Um, who was sixth? Uh, Shaq was eighth. Kobe was tenth. Bird was seventh. Rob G helped me out. So who would have been sixth? Mm. Um I know it's, it's got to be on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, Wilt we'll, 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 we'll was six. Wilt Chamberlain. Okay. 
was six. And um, I, I didn't say nine. A uh, nine was Tim Duncan. So that's their top ten. But anyway, um, Rich Paul, LeBron's agent, uh, said this about LeBron being second. It, it really wasn't about LeBron being second, but it was just in comparison to Michael Jordan. Um, he said the road for LeBron was just as hard, if not harder than the road was for Michael for a number of reasons. And I think the biggest reason is everyone wants to do, wants you to do something the way somebody else did it previously. LeBron was the kid. The media wanted LeBron to be like Mike. They wanted Michael to speak to them in any capacity, which he probably didn't. I, I don't get that. They wanted Michael to be his friend, meaning LeBron's friend, I assume which he probably wasn't. They also wanted LeBron to act like, be like Michael, and he wasn't. There were more people that smiled and hoped LeBron failed than there were, mm. than there ever was mm. rooting for him to succeed in the beginning. So what do you think of that, Rob? I, I think just, LeBron's role was tougher? Or no, tough? I don't. I, 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 think, I think obviously when you're trying to live up to somebody, sure, there's a roadmap already, Chris, you know, so I get that part of it. Like, right. like because Michael set the standard, right? So Going you had to follow his standard. Right. right. So there's a standard that's set. So I understand that part, that there's something there, and if you don't do at least that, people are going to question you. But, but I was covering the, the, the NBA then with Michael Jordan, and it wasn't all champagne and roses, Chris. I mean, I, I think that that's a false narrative. It, it just wasn't. Everybody wasn't rooting for Michael Jordan. There were a lot of people who thought he was just flashy and a dunker and he didn't make his teammates better and he'll never win anything. I remember those no columns doubt. and stories. Am I right, Chris? Come on. Well, I remember he, those. He'll never win. I heard that. He, I used to have debates in college with guys about Michael versus Magic and Bird. And to your point, it was always, well, Magic and Bird win. They yep. know how to win. They're team players. Like you said, Jordan's just a dunker. He's just flashy. He doesn't make anybody better. Because, Rob, at the time when Michael Jordan entered the league and started leading the league and scoring every year, the conventional wisdom was you couldn't do that and win big. Right. Because the great Wilt Chamberlain, the years he led the league in scoring 50, 44, they never won. The game, they never won. The years he won, he averaged 24 points a game and 14 points a game. So the bird never led the league in scoring. Dr. J, when he won it, didn't lead the league. Most like that was the wisdom. Kareem, when he won all those titles with Showtime, didn't lead the league in scoring. I believe he led it when he won it in Milwaukee. Chris, but for the most part, it was thought you can do all this scoring, dude. Who are you and, trying to impress? And don't you, you ain't remember win nothing? When he when he scored, was it sixty three against Boston? Sixty three, yep. and they lost. That, and they lost, and they were like, "See, that's all right. he is." He right. can score. They lost. It don't matter. He can't win. He didn't make his teammates better. He's a ball hog. He just put up points, and he lost. I, people who think that Michael Jordan had an easy road <laughs> or that he was beloved, it's just not true. And there were a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. He had fans, obviously, but it was different. And, and um, I think – uh, unlike LeBron, I think what's helped him is that what's helped LeBron or LeBron, and, and I'm talking about like the support that he has from people, Chris, because you can watch games like people became fans in this era of players more than teams, you know, so LeBron's had a lot of uh, as much as he has the, the negative part, there's a lot of LeBron fans everywhere who have been able to follow his career the whole way. And you don't have to live in Cleveland or you didn't have to live in Miami. You know what I mean? To be a right. LeBron fan. Where I don't, I don't think as much as Michael was, of course, a big-time star, <coughs> it was just a little different. So there are differences. And LeBron, the LeBron side has some gripes about social media and some well, of the other stuff. Well, that's what I think is tougher on LeBron. Yeah, the I technology agree. Social is, media, yeah. He's under more scrutiny, I, I would say, probably than any other athlete in America. Yeah, history. I don't disagree with that. Yeah, just because of the technology. So, And that, look. And we didn't have 24-hour right, sports right. stations. Right. We didn't have 24-hour co cable networks. We didn't. I was on Skip and Shannon today. And Skip's killing LeBron. As great as LeBron played last night, 
Skip was killing him because he didn't take the last shot. He said he's running from the free throw line. It was a literally a Wednesday night game against the Utah Jazz. <laughs> and we're right. critiquing it because he had 33 points, 15 in the fourth quarter, but didn't take the last shot. Michael Jordan didn't have to suffer those types of critiques, that type of nitpicking. So that is much tougher on LeBron. But to your point, Rob, Jordan was beloved, and but that also worked against him because he came out with the shoes. And obviously the younger generation is going crazy right. over his shoes. And then he had to come, remember the Come Fly With Me video? That was like 88, something. I was in college. I remember that came out. And he so Jordan was wildly popular. But the the caretakers of the game were like, this dude don't win. Right. Y'all going crazy over a bunch of highlights. And don't forget too, Chris, there was a controversy too about the sneakers because guys were getting shot and robbed. You remember in yep. the early days of yep. Jordan's? So I did it was a big kind of story on that, right? One I mean, of the people, awards actually that story, yeah, yeah, yeah. People were getting killed over Jordans. I mean, right. it was it, well, it and was also not, right. He he had to follow as well, Rob, because he had to. Like we said, they were comparing him to Magic and Bird, particularly Magic. And I don't think that was fair for Jordan because Magic, who won right away, right as a rookie, and everybody's rookie like, "Well, year. look at Magic. Magic yep. came in and won right away." Yeah. Magic went to the team with the reigning MVP, the best player in the league, Kareem. Like that never happens, and he was at. I don't. I don't know what is a trade or something. They got somebody. Yeah, it was pick. amazing. And then a few years later, they got James Worthy with the right. number one pick. Yep. So Jordan never had that. So you, you're right. It's younger people that don't really understand. They they just are kind of looking at the '90s Jordan Rob when he was winning every year and everybody no. loved him. There was seven years before that, right? right. And so, and I also think that Jordan, you know, I mean, LeBron did go win it with Wade and Bosh and Kyrie and AD. And I know Kyrie never won before LeBron and since LeBron, but it's, I think it's tougher to build it yourself. Not to, not that it's not tough, the, the road LeBron took too, but it's not as tough. If you got to pick one that's tougher, it's tougher to stay like Giannis did and build it. 